This will determine the sides. We're going to see who takes it away. This is going to be the ESL Pro League with ESCA and uh, it's Tempo Storm taking out Elevate. We rambled on forever. They're finally ready to start. And uh, just going to go for the Bloodbath here to see who can take this knife round. And Tempo Storm, I believe they're undefeated in knife rounds to start this Pro League. So let's see if they can keep it going. And they do. Not bad. You love your knife rounds. I do. It's pretty fun. I like seeing the knives that they have too. All the fancy Dopplers, you know, stat tracks. But, alright, to start, they'll be defensive, they'll take the CT, and, uh, you know, just look to hold their spots. And I want to watch Rick, so I want to see where he goes. Are there going to be any aggressive A main kind of peaks or anything like that? And they have a lot of utility on the Tempo Storm side. So, you know, they have, they have three nades. Ooh. And I would imagine that would go towards the, uh, at least one or two go towards the boost. Yeah, there you go. Nades come out, they throw them. Actually, one into boost, and I don't know where the other one went. But Storm, he's they, lurking. They threw both into boost. Ooh, Slip, he's gonna find it. Can he get the kill? All three actually peek out, and there's some serious gooshing going on, but Slip and Glorins are gonna be the ones to fall, and now Temple Storm. Look at that, Hades, through the smoke. Storm finds with the 5-7. There's two members, pretty damaged, and Santa's Law, though, is gonna respond, and Rix, he's still alive. Desi, he's gonna come out. Can he find him? Sandbags is the question. He's trying to flick around. He actually gets it. Turns around and ladies him, and now it's all to Stannis Law. He needs the ace and the defuse. They're going for the boost. Actually, back quad, and oh, duck peeking. Gets the headshot. Roka tapping. He's definitely feeling it. Yeah, that was a nice pistol. I, they, they caught those two players out and uh, pushing into doorway, and Tempo Storm just couldn't connect with those headshots, so eventually the Elevate players just swarmed him on the reload, and obviously Storm coming onto Hades through the smoke. That was... Nicely done by him. Opened up that A bomb site very, very quickly. So uh, that was going to be a little bit of a slower hit until they clear out the door like that, and then they just speed things up. So nicely done by Elevate. So we'll be going for just a lot of noise to be made out over here towards B, where four members of Tempo Storm are actually waiting, and they just go huge. Slip takes down one. They force Desi back. That nade should actually hit quite a few of them. Does light them off. Actually, just a ton. The Mac 10 from Slug, though, he's going to pick up some easy uh, eco frags there. and. They're still yeah, split. That, that was really, really dangerous for a second there, and then Slug kind of bails him out with the Nate and Mac 10 combo. So good play from him, and that pretty much leaves A open, wide, wide open, and Santa's lost with the truck. Just try to kill. Oh, he does actually dink Slug, but they're not going to give him too much. Not going to give him too much indeed. I believe Slip will try to save this Khalil. I, I don't know why he would just look to throw it away randomly and uh, give him a shot at potentially upsetting. But Roka, look at that, another headshot for him. Just feeling it right now. And Ricks and Slip. Looks like they're going to save their guns and just Desi's, try to get exits. Desi's got to get towards his team. He's very, very isolated with an AK-47. They're flanking around him right now, and he's got to be careful. Ricks is going to see him, but Desi wins that battle. So nice, nicely done by him to check his back, but he's still got Slip to deal with, and if he loses this AK, that actually... I mean, not a huge deal, but it's definitely not a good thing in any in any case. And he is going to look clear the, clear the corner, and he's going to take Slip out. So Desi, with that sixth sense, makes the right play at the right time. Yeah, that, that's really painful, but not that much. Seeing as the tempo is still on the eco, the hard eco here, and uh, we'll we'll see the fourth round obviously be the most important, as it typically is with a lot of these teams. The gun rounds are the way to keep themselves in the game. So elevate should make it a quick 3-0. The fourth round should be the big battle, and I mean a surprise B push again could work phenomenally here, seeing as how they could get a seriously advantageous flank position, not seeing anybody be main. I mean, that, that would be Temple Store's best chance of winning this round, but it doesn't seem like they're going to. Well, I mean, they're already up mid and up highway, so very aggressively coming out mid. Desi and Roka had taken down immediately, so this is the A bomb site open, and they're already flanking behind him with those pistols, so Rush could get caught off guard. Ooh. Oh, he lands a nice headshot. He spins around. Storm bails him out as well. <laughs> Rush, what a shot. Yeah, he just flicked that right behind him, and Glorin's 5 7 in hand, holding off in Z, and he, he should be going down. I believe they have a redone position. And uh, who, matter of who's gonna get the kill, they flashbang their way in. Lawrence doesn't know where to look, and Storm takes him out. So this next round is gonna be very important. They went for a semi-full save, not not armor, just like one flash and maybe some pistols there. Yeah. Do we see the op though? Is the question? Do we get that out of them? No. Not enough money. Nowhere near enough. Well, Hades, Hades could still pick it up if you wanted to with uh, mm. light armor. Hey, this is gonna be a lot on the, on the mid control, and how how does Hades want to defend it? Because if he has an op, that's it's more than likely where he put it. But they're gonna go for the Colts. All right. Just straight calls, full nades, and do what the camera And it's actually goes. a really passive mid setup. This is going to give Desi free reign to come out. He's already underneath the vent. And they're going it's for only the boost. 
Yeah, it's only Hades playing in mid, and he's actually falling off, so complete mid control is just given up towards Elevate, and this is... This can be very scary for Tempo Storm. They have such a great position right now to come up on this A bomb site. Tempo Storm just did the run boost too into the B bomb site, so they they're on top of the I mean the A bomb site, so they're on top of the boxes. And do they have an idea about this slip from the top? Gets one, and then Roka pushing out Squeaky finds him and takes him out. Oh man, what could have been a very sneaky position? Gets one, but that's it. So Rex behind the smoke finds himself his own kill. It's three on three. Oh that nade, it's gonna be enough to kill him. Oh he backs up just in time. Woo. Yeah, but no HP to really work with, and in a 3-on-3 retake, it's actually more like a 2-on-3, so it's going to be all up to Glorin's and Santa's Law to do something here. Santa Law still at the truck, and a nice setup so far from Elevate, not giving up anything immediately, and even throwing out a Molotov at the entrance to the bomb site. so Rush is going to delay him a, bit, a little bit, it's on top of the fire. Glorin's gets aggressive, takes out Rush, so he's going to try and swing around with a wide angle towards Quad, but they're not peeking at all, so this retake is done, there's no chance for him to win, and Glorin's is stuck, he goes down anyways. Sandislaw's gonna try for one more, but Roka drops him, so barely able to save any weapons is, is Rix with that one HP hero from earlier on. Doesn't get in the battle. No, they decided to retreat him out, and I mean, I got even props to try to go for that retake, but uh, it, it was way too well defended from Elevate, and back onto the Eco Temple Storm go. I mean, they could pistol armor by with the M4, and that doesn't really seem to be the plan, and they're not fragging as much as they would be hoping to do so. Elevate are just going, uh, going a little wild right now, and 6 0, Roka sells and died. Well, Tempo Storm can't afford to give up mid control like that, like ever again. Like you have to at least have the information on it. They, and if you're not gonna, if you're only gonna put one player mid and he's behind that smoke, you're in, you're in, you're in for a lot of trouble. Especially without an op at that A site to peer down highway, I mean, you just you just can't let Elevate have that map control. Mid is very important on cash, and we keep reiterating it. And I mean, they're just getting full control of the speedway. Like this A take. Oh. Slug caught with a Molotov in his hand, but Roka's there to respond. The 5-7 from Slip, though, goes big. He gets a double. Maybe he'll look to try to save this round. He almost gets the triple, but Desi, Rush, going huge. Storm rushes down the last guy, and... All right, they minimize their casualties, but... And get the bomb plant, but... Uh, Temple Storm almost holding that pretty well. And now the off comes in from Hades, so it's going to be a light armor buy for him. Yeah, and I'm interested to see how they, if they're going to change things up and play mid. And you can see they're actually, this This is a team that's not buying head armor, really. Uh, three players who could have afforded it choose not to get it. And AD Hades is going to come mid. He's got a teammate coming with him as well, so he's going to get over towards that box. He's going to try and stop it this time. He knows Desi got out very, very quickly last round, so he's peeking for it. But this time, Elevate playing a little bit more passively. Some mad flash, some massive flashes coming out. Not the be bomb side stand, just completely blind, but... uh. They're just playing it slow now. Elevator like, alright, this is their second buy. Let's just go for picks, look for pushes. And uh, try to try to catch them off guard. Delayed takes are going to be interesting if they smoke these mid areas. Oh, Hades, Hades is oh. unlucky on, on everything there. He was scoped in and he unscopes at the wrong time. And that's right when Roka decides to peek. So he eats a little bit of damage. He gives away a possible kill. And Roka's holding Squeaky still, just going to play that lurking role and make some noise at the A site. The B take is going to be executed though, as the bomb is already over there, and it's up to Glorin's and Santa's Law to really make this one work. Slug's about to get- oh, Hades again on scopes at the exact wrong moment, and here comes this mid-B split. Roka goes down over towards oh. A, and Fire and Glorin's destroy Rush over at B. And this hold is pretty much stopped, it's delayed for so long, and there's so many rotations coming into play here, so Elevate's got a tall task to do. Oh, uh, my, uh, CS crashed. That was weird. Radio cast well, you, it up. You didn't miss anything because the B attack was entirely destroyed by the defensive Tempo Storm. There were so many Molotovs off. It slowed him down. Hades came in for the rotation from a new angle with the AWP, and now Slug just left all alone. He does take out Rix. 15 seconds left. He really can't go for it. There's no chance of him winning it, and he's just going to save this gun for the next round. Okay. We're back in. Slug, like you said, going to save the gun for the next round, and I don't know what happened. That seemed like a phenomenal hold. <laughs> It was. It was. It was a. I mean, it, well. Yeah, there's really not much to say. They had so many mollies in the choke points, and, and, and Elevate was forced with the, with the clock running down to peak anyways, and uh, just kind of got butchered there. So, Slug did save his AK-47. Doesn't get any money. He'll be able to buy up a smoke, but but that's all he'll have. All right, and yeah, this is this is a pretty big round for Elevate. If they can if they can win this one, they'll kind of salvage their economy a little bit. If they lose this one, they might be onto a bit of a forced eco. So, smoke's out up mid. Do we see Desi just go back charging up? Like, his aggressive plays have worked out so well so far. Hades is getting full blinded too. Second time he's gonna be full blinded. Can't peek the boost! Every time he tries to do it, there's just something that stops him from being able to hold the position. Too good. Too unfortunate as well. 
And uh, Elevate, they get up on boost and they're gonna be able to take full mid control once again. Nobody's peeking Z, Rix is the only one that's close. Yeah, he's gonna pop flash himself out, but take some damage for it and they spot him. So even though they have mid control, they're playing it very far back and very passively at the moment. And you can see this is kind of influencing a lean over towards A. You see a fourth player, it's gonna be Glorens rotating from B. And there's a huge stack up here in quad and against this fence, slips in the NBK corner. NBK corner, man. And Titan. Uh, what do we got? Hades still holding here, looking towards Speedway. They have the bomb and squeaky ends. I mean, they're gonna commit, it seems. The clock's uh, ticking on down again. Is this gonna be like their B take? Are they gonna get completely shut down? Is the question. Hades looking towards A main. He's trying to cover with spots. They're kind of sniffing this one out as they do go for it. The off shot's just not connected for Hades right now. The nade hits him in the head. And oh boy, Hades finds one. Storm on top of the forklift. Just able to take down Glorans from truck. And two on four, the retake. It's going to be near impossible. Elevate just pushed through and just brute forced their way in like they have against a lot of the other teams beforehand. Right, they even have Rush in a great position in Highway, who's going to be able to cut off rotates as they fall back. Sands watching for it, he falls anyways. So now Rick's in a very tough spot. He's going to try and find this angle, he doesn't, Rush wins it. That's going to be a pretty clean round for Elevate, you said it. Great execute from them and just obliterating that defense. You know, you see, we, we talk about how aggressive that Tempo Storm is as players and how they were last season in Premier, and you can see having a lot of space and a lot of respect to Elevate right now. Even when they're holding these bomb sites, they're not, they're very shy on their peaks, which we didn't see uh, the other night against Ace Gaming whatsoever. No, we didn't see that at all. So, we're gonna see the just eco rush play come out. Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna peek in the corner. Let Slip go up. Instead, that pop flash from Desi's gonna do a little bit of work, and the op from Rush from T spawn. Wow, they were expecting that. They know the Eco's coming in. They're keeping track of the economy. They're good at managing it themselves, and... I mean, good reads. This is just the veteran experience from Elevate. Paying off. Pop flashing their way in again. Oh, Desi almost got in a crossfire there. Now he knows there's two at B. Sprays one down. Here comes Rix. Pulls out a grenade. Look at Roka. Just playing with the door. He does that. He plays that, that door very well. Much like, much like Swag uh, used to do. Rest in pieces. But yeah, at least he's coaching now, right? Roka has been picking up the slack for uh, in terms of the uh, door dominance. So they're hunting out this last kill. Rix is in B main, and can they find him? Is the question. If they take away this AK, that'd be pretty detrimental. But either way, Temple Storm is going to buy next round. So uh, they got to piece something together now. They they can't let this really just snowball out of their favor. Elevate just taking the rounds one by one, and just like I said, brute forcing it. Like, their shots are just lining up much better than Team Tempo Storms right now. Right, and they've been punished by giving up mid-control so much, and that, that's what kind of makes, you know, some of these A-hits much more effective is, you know, they start having to commit more bodies and more players to, to defending against mid, and it takes it away from that A-defense, so Tempo Storm's in a very tough spot now. They're going to have to buy here this round. Oh, you almost got a kill. All right, so do we see the off back in Hades' hands? I... Don't they, think don't have, they don't have the money for it whatsoever. Yeah. They dropped the AK over to Slip because he didn't have any money, and they buy up rifles behind it. Oh man, this is this is so rough for Tempest Storm, but this is one of those situations they can learn from. And uh, I mean, if they can start getting some rounds to get like Paradox did, potential comeback is there. But for now, Elevate just coming off hot off Paradox, and I mean, just gonna show these lower tier teams what's what. So we got the bomb coming in, no shots, Roka. I, I forgot that that wall is actually spammable. If you really wanted to, you could shoot someone in the back from there. He gets dinged through the door, though. Oh, man, that's that's unfortunate for him. And Slip is being very patient. He pushed up. He got spammed a little bit by Slug, but now he takes a shot. He lets his spot know. Slug swings out for the fight, takes him down. Nice play from him. No chance for a response. Slug, or Slip was all alone over towards A. Roka's very low. Rix is going to pop flash himself in, but they spot that out. Still so far back, but he does turn around and get the door opening on Roka. Meanwhile, Desi's also falling over towards B, and that's going to prompt Elevate to kind of boost up in the mid and try and get a pick here to equalize. But right, Rix is still aggressive, so, so he, gives, he gives it right back. Uh, there's no point for that. Now there's only one player over towards A, that's Hades. And his teammate's in a long rotation at the moment. Oh, Slug peeks out, forces Hades back down highway, and he's going to be running into Rush, though, who actually misses the op shot, so... A bit of a bit of a boo-boo for the Elevate side, and this could be the round for Temple Storm that they wanted and needed. 
But they're on the retake against Slug and Storm. That's gonna be a very tough task to do. Flashes out, smokes out. Hades coming on the flank still. Finds the one on quad. Slug doesn't react in time, and now it's up to Storm. One versus three in the smoke. He peeks out. Glorence takes him out, and all right, Temple Storm get their second round. And I mean, it's not too late for them to to kind of mount some kind of comeback. And if they could win out, eight seven would be okay for their CT side. Yeah, but here's the thing, they just won one, they can't let their economy get reset. They, they've survived uh, well enough in that round, and, and they've, they've got some bank behind it, so they'll probably be able to buy two in a row, but... They need, they need to build some momentum for sure here, because Elevate's kind of starting to run away with this. And, and you can see Rush, he misses a couple op shots on the flank, that's a flank where if he has an AK-47, uh, he gets that kill easily. They're kind of uh, just throwing the op around, like, can you op? No, can you op? No. Well, you know Storm, he got two kills with it that one round, and he's like, alright, that's my quota for like 13 years. <laughs> Time to put up the big green, just put it back on the wall. Put it on his uh, rifle rack. But uh, Roka never giving up this uh, squeaky position. He, make it no he makes noise too, he just doesn't care. He's like, come yeah, on, no, fight he me. He wants them to know that it's a very active lurk. He wants them to know that he's there. He wants them to fear it. It's just a matter of time. Roka's coming for you. He's going to break through the door like uh, The Shining. But... All right, elevate Muzi on back towards the A site, bringing the bomb over there, and they're gonna go for a boost too. Put Storm on mid, let him try to flank out the guy playing Speedway, and the three man in Hades again with this AWP hasn't been able to put it to effect. Roka jumping across this time too, like he's just playing with his food. Just doesn't care. And Rush has spotted two over towards B, so they know A is weak, and that look at the rotation it's pulling off of A. Ricks and Hades adjust their position. Ricks just now coming back, but. Slip is very much alone in this A bomb site. That's going to pull even more of Rotate's off, so the Execute's going to come in at well, Rush with two entries. He's selling this fake so well, and here comes the hit. Slip Hades. finally sees the nade come out, but Roka takes him out in a one-on-one, -on -one, and now it's Hades' turn. He does get the kill, but both players over towards B, and they have no shot at this retake, so perfectly executed by Elevate and an amazing round by Rush there. That's that's such an atypical, atypical player right there. Rush just lures them all out. Roka's gonna clean up Ricks and Hades with his AWP. I'm sure Elevator gonna hunt him down. I don't. I don't see him living through this by any means. And I mean, Temple Storm is gonna be two to eight. Like this is this is not what we were really expecting. At least I wasn't expecting this. I thought it'd be a little bit closer. Hades finds one. Okay, can he get a second? Nope. Can he get a wall back to the boxes and uh, there you have it. Really solid play from Rush. Like being able to pick up three kills no less on a one versus whatever number <laughs> attempted a uh, fake just so good yeah that, that was that was wonderful by him he smokes up checkers so no one can peek him from that angle and then he just gets really aggressive on the bomb site he, uh, he pulled off rotations before he even got kills you, you can just see how how kind of you know how much respect tempo storm is, is giving him you know they had two players there and they only spotted one but they rotated even so oh and storm just punishes sands but they don't check to their right hades is gonna get some shot he can't get the kill desi takes him out Two players, there's Roka still at the door, and he has a second player. That Slug is with him as well, so Rix might get aggressive on that slip. Nice shot. Not this Rix's turn to kind of go for it. Going for the headshot, can't handle it. Slug sprays him down. The CT players are split, and it's a four-on-two situation. It just keeps happening like this. Temple Storm keeps getting dismantled, so Slip goes down. Glorans at least finds one of the Desi. I doubt he'll be able to save the AK if he goes to pick it up, but... It's just, every round Elevate's basically had mid control if they want it. They've been able to send lurkers out there, they've been able to hit it basically for free. I burned. Yeah, they, they, they need to do something, they need to have someone dedicated to, even if there's an A hit, they need to have someone just ready for any kind of a, a push or a flank or, or a lurk in that middle area, because if they give it up the whole round, someone's gonna be there. And uh, top three fraggers, Storm, Roka, and Desi. Looking good from Elevate. And uh, just... Rix, who was fragging out yesterday, not uh not showing that today unfortunately so we're looking at potential like 13 2 i mean Ele temple storm need to win this round they, they gotta build up something at least for their t side and uh, elevate our solid ct uh team when they swap over here on cash and just aggressive pushes coming in and it seems that it worked out a little bit with stannis law but desi getting pinched out towards the t spawn nice nade comes in and uh, another trade just two for twos but an eight kill comes out from hades and now we're at a three on two. This is very doable for Temple Storm, but also very losable too. Roka pushes in. Can he get the headshot? He's able to just pick up the kill at least on a slip. And two on two. This is where uh, this is where he thrives. That, that was a huge fight to win for Roka because Desi spotted out the the remaining two players on that three man B push. He made the call, so that's why Roka took it so quick and so aggressively. Is is just because he knew there was only going to be one player there. It was a one on one for him. And now Slug's going to have Ricks to deal with. 
Ooh. Doesn't win the initial fat battle. Flashbang. A little bit of coordination coming in. He checks the boxes and you'd have to think in that position, he didn't see him cross, did he? No. Nice little uh, pop nade coming out there onto Hades. Roka from the back of sight from Quad. Hades doesn't hear him. He turns around though, just relying on his insane reaction time. And then gonna try to force out Slug, but this is not enough time. He doesn't have a kit, so he's gonna retreat and more than likely die to this bomb. He's gonna lose his gun anyway. Yeah, a really nice two on two there from, or two on three, excuse me, from Elevate. Rucka winning that battle on Slug with a nice repositioning, and Rix couldn't find him, so. Nothing going in the way of Tempo Storm at the moment. Yeah, they, they can't catch a break, and uh, we'll see them back onto the Eco. They actually just pistol by, like, why not? Yeah, well, they're at the point where they need the rounds. They can't really afford to save, so Stan's got a scout, and they've got the pistols and armor, and that's pretty much the buy you're going to see out of them for the rest of this half. The smoke splashes. Hades throwing out the incendiary. Oh, actually, no, he didn't throw it. He kept onto it, but Desi already made it up mid. He's gonna see the nade come out of Hades' hands and just just destroy him from above. Desi's gonna force them back into the A site. Roka's ready, ready to push out of Squeakians. I mean, this is just elevate, demonstrating solid play in general. Slug finds one. Roka pushes out and finds the other. And I think I think this map might just be mm, too outclassing for the Tempo Storm side. Or to a class? I don't know. I can't say speak English anymore. Outclassed works. It works very well. It's just, you know, just, I mean, it's a strategic loss for Tempo Gaming, really, like, putting no emphasis on controlling mid whatsoever. I know it just I sound like a, a broken record here, but so many rounds to get. Okay, oh, Stan. Stanislaw putting together quite a round. Not going <laughs> to win it, obviously, but nicely done by him. Get some kills. He tried. <laughs> that was that was good. It's just too many rounds where, where Desi's been able to do anything. Storm's been able to walk out and entry frag out mid, and even Rush just lurking it basically for free. And there's and there's it's not that they're not putting someone there. Even on rounds where they have it, it's just they're not getting the intel. So for whatever reason, they're playing a little bit too passively and don't see players drop from the boost. Don't see players sneak out towards under vent, and they just can't control the map uh, if you can't control mid. So bomb drops. I mean, Famasas, CZs, uh, five seven like. Tempo Storm just going with the can. This is getting close to half time and Elevate just not giving any signs of wanting to back down. And I'm surprised. Like, they, they don't try to push Roka either. They just wait for him to push him. That time it actually works where Rix gets the kill and then Stannis Law finds Rush. So, this is one of the most doable rounds they've had so far this entire CT side. And uh, can they make it work? I mean, Elevate more than likely can clutch this one out, but it'll be, it'll be tough. A little bit of an exchange with Desi and Hades, and that's that's a way to work back into this round. Oh yeah, especially because Desi hasn't even been hit yet, so he doesn't lose anything for winning that battle. And if they can find one more and equalize things, Desi breaks up with the vet to try and bait a peek. Ooh. Oh, and Rex actually had to have seen him and just doesn't take the battle. He saw him at the last second. Storm taking the Roka position here at Squeaky, and... I mean, he opens the door, he's gonna peek out, he's got the smoke from the CT section to help him out a little bit. And they're, they're committed, they're actually looking to push into this, this A site. The meat slips hand, and alright, he gets a double! So we'll see, we'll see this third round picked up more than likely for Temple Storm. Unless Desi can go off and somehow pick up the, uh, the four versus one. It'd be his, his ace, but it doesn't seem doable. They set up the exchange and slip cleans him off, so. 11 to 3 in the rounds, Elevate still lead. Temple Storm need this next one. Yeah, they, they, they really do. And it's going to be another full buy coming at him. So much money in the banks of Elevate. All right. And then they need they need more of those opening kills. Uh, that, that round they won, they obviously they got the first two kills of the round, and then it was pretty much just a mop up from there, slip with some nice shots, some nice play uh, over in the fence at the A-bomb site. And this looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, pretty aggressive, pretty quickly executed mid beast but look at this push from Stanislaw. He's going to get the first battle. He gets traded off by Roka. Hades is now in a really tough spot. They know he's behind these boxes, and he's going to go for one. He does grab one. Not able to convert, so another trade comes out. They're going to have to enter this bomb site. It's Slip at the headshot spot. He hits one. He hits the second one. A couple good rounds here from Slip. He's given a little bit of window of opportunity for, uh, for Tempo Storm. Now getting that 4-11 scoreline, so I, I mean, nowhere near a great half, but his last two rounds going in there, we gave him a tiny cushion. A tiny, tiny cushion. They need to take this pistol. And uh, even then, getting it to 7-11 is going to be very hard. So, it's going to restart. We're going to get the pistol. This is going to be the second half for the ESL Pro League with ESCA. 
And uh, I'm eGadget, and here's Moses, and this is ESA TV. And let's let's get this underway. I mean, elevate. They take the pistol. I think it's pretty much done. Like uh, I'm not I'm not sure how Temple Storm can really grind out the rounds, seeing as to how they're just not looking uh, as coordinated as Elevator right now. And it's just gonna look to be the bomb just inching its way up B. Like no flat out rushes. You can't really do like pug strats against uh, some of the pro teams at times. And the way for their own pushes and actually elevate did the run boost with Roka and they put him up in the boost spot. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a late executed uh, mid B hit though. It looks like. So can they make it work? Maybe not even a, a mid. Uh, they do have two spokes on. Stan just used one, I believe that's... Oh, there's Desi. Desi. Two quick kills. Beautiful job by him. They even push further. Slug takes out Rix, and that's the bomb, and that's this entire strat is just blown up. The aggression of Elevate. They keep their foot on the pedal, and they just blow up Tempo Storm in this pistol round. Yeah, that walk peak up. He ends up ending the round off with four kills, and... This ah, is, they weren't this ready. Is, I mean, that's just Elevate. You know, if you're gonna be silent across the map, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna put pressure anywhere... They want to know where you're at, and they're fully willing to get into those battles and be aggressive like that. So, uh, a, a really nice round from Desi. You got a four kill there. Great opening headshots from him. Really, really just blows the round up. You just go straight for the M4 buy too. Everybody else gets MP9s and an MP7. And uh, this time, I don't think Temple Storm are gonna wait. They're gonna look to push in. Just be aggressive and try to get these shots. No, they're gonna wait again. Oh jeez. And if they can kill Desi though and get this M4, there's a very good chance of them being able to get this bomb down and maybe even holding it at the. Uh, Round for themselves. Well, here's the difference though. Storm and Slug are both playing very aggressive at mid. That allows Storm to play in the vents and be on a quick rotate for his team. Slips watching it. I don't know if you can see his feet or his, his gun through the vents, but they're ready for it. A pop flash comes in. Desi doesn't get blind. Storm's going to take out one, but Desi has fallen. Storm gets a second one dropping out of the vents. But it is a two on three now, so a nice B take from uh, Tempo Storm on this eco route. And now they have a Colt, they have an SMG, but they've got to hold off Rush. You're going to hold the MP9s. So both of them inside Glorance, this is all up to him really. Slip is gonna just take the position behind the boxes. They get the pop flash in, Glorance can't see a thing. He's still full blind, they know Slip is in the back of the site. They rush him down with the P9, uh, the MP9s and the man without the kit, Roka's gonna take the defuse? Yeah, no problem. They should be able to have enough time. They're looking for the Colt and they do find it. So they're able to salvage that, that's good. But uh, a nice secret round and a little bit scary there for Elevate who almost gave up the advantage uh, from that pistol round, so. Good retake from those two, Roka and Rush. Working together phenomenally. 13 to 4 in the rounds. Three more and elevate. They've just they've just got it. I, I don't know what else to say. Like they're just outclassing Temple Storm right now, and maybe Temple Storm is just a little too new and not uh ready to fight against these teams yet. And we'll we'll see nothing crazy out of the buy. Slug still holding on to the MP9, maybe build up a little bit more of a bank and it looks like it's gonna be the A main with a bit of a split. They have two smokes to work with. For this site for Temple Storm. So they're gonna start executing in. Rush is gonna find the first. He's gonna find a second actually. Roku's behind the smoke too. Glorance pushes in. He's full blind. Everybody just scrambling around the site right now. Roku finds one. Rush finds another. The bomb plant at least comes in. So that's the win Temple Storm wanted at least. Just to get the bomb plant. Yeah, but they got they're, they're done with moral victories now. You got you got no room for error. There elevates at 14. This is going to have to be quite a string of rounds for, for it to even be considered close to a comeback, so... <sighs> so they, they need like 10 in a row. I, I don't really think that's going to happen. I, I might just call this one here, but... We'll see, this is their first buy round on T-side, and the AK's... Pretty powerful gun. So... They'll, they'll do their best with this. The bomb... I honestly think A is maybe out of the question. If they can try to go for the split picks, like B main and... Uh, Looking out mid, that could work. But uh, look at this spread. From, yeah, uh, well, this is this is elevate. They they want they want that mid control. They wanted it as terrorists and they got it. Now they wanted it as counter terrorists. And Roka's not going to spot this hit. So now they've got to rotate quickly. He's the only one here playing these quad boxes. He's getting wrapped on behind the site, and he is going to get taken out by Santa's Law. No one covered it in time. This is a good a hit, but it's equalized by Storm and Slug. Nice. So teams uh, Temple Storm is going to be able to try to get the plant down, but the bomb is dropped in a really precarious spot. For them to get this, they have to overextend pretty hard, and there's already Desi over towards the truck, and then Storm holding here from a uh, highway, but look at the taps! Hades gets one, Slip gets the other, and okay, Temple Storm take their first gun round. Yeah, a couple of my shots. Rotation for mid didn't come in quick enough, and, and Roka just got wrapped on, so a nice, a very, uh, 
a lot of conviction in that A hit by Tempo Storm, just, you know, doing a pretty standard smoke execute and rush out, find your kills. So, Tempo Storm, okay, they get something, try to start to mount a little bit of, <laughs> I guess, momentum, for lack of a better term, but they're going to boost up, look for their own mid control, and Elevate still have a full buy, Slug's the only one who doesn't, and Pop Flash in, Roka, he wants to play aggressive, man. He just loves trying to go for these pop flash and cheeky plays. Slug though behind the smoke in mid. He's gonna spray out a little bit. Does light up slip just a tid and uh, the bomb is gonna be making way towards B. And then slip takes full control of that. But they're just trading back and forth. Desi going huge a rush. And that B hit as well as the mid players are just dead. But Stan yeah, is long. It's the power of having a player in vent. <laughs> no matter no matter where they hit on the map, it's such a quick rotation, a quick swing to either side allows you to cover so much. So Dusty played that very, very well. Hasn't even taken any damage, and he shuts down that mid attack. And now it's just up to Hades. Ooh. Trying to come today, but he gets spotted out by Storm. Loses that initial fight. Here's Desi coming vent. The nade, not going to do much. Not going to do anything, actually. But he's still holding, and this, this round is done. I mean, Hades could try to clutch one versus three. He's pushing out back to the site. Uh, maybe get the plant, try to get some money. He's getting flanked out, though, and there you go. Desi takes him out, and we're now on match point for uh, Elevate. Looking to make this a 16-5. Much more convincing than their Paradox game. Yeah, from start to finish, this is uh, this has been a pretty big beatdown, so... Elevate playing it well, and they're gonna... They're, they're basically gonna let their uh, team leader enjoy his vacation. XP3 over in France is gonna come see these scores at some point and just smile about it. Yeah, he's gonna be happy that his team's doing fine with him, and Slug's been filling in just what, well, just fine. So, okay. Thought my thought my game was about to crash again. I was like, uh. But Tempo Storm, they're they're on their force by the end of this potentially the last round. They're gonna try to stack some up at least to not make this look so convincing. <laughs> look at this! Look at this double second. Hey, this is crazy on top of the box. Yeah, just right on top of each other. They can go for the run boost at any time, too. Yeah, and once again, very spread out from, from Tempo Storm. Playing this one so passively, waiting for any kind of aggression whatsoever. And they're not going to find it. And this round is a passive setup from Elevate, so switching things up on him. Storm's going to try and find some intel with a pop flash, and oh, he's got to be careful. He's going to push this, but there is one Stanislaw lurking in the in the sunroom. And he finally leaves it. He looks away at the wrong moment. Storm grabs that kill. The timing on that flank, nothing going Tempo Storm's way. Still in this match. Yeah, Elevate, just what you expect from them. Coming back from a land, still looking pretty warmed up, and now with 500k on the line for a land, they're, they're looking <laughs> as fired up as ever, and then Roka <laughs> kills all slip. <laughs> he had no idea, that angle. Uh, uh, we got someone looking to peek. Me. Hades, he can't do anything either. Are they still double stacked? Oh, this yep, is they wonderful are. stuff from them. <laughs> this is fantastic. They're right, alright, look left, look right. Oh no! Glorans, he takes him down. Okay, he, he wins the carnival game, but he's got four health left. Yeah, you had to run through fire to, to get those kills. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny how they coordinated to get to. He's like, alright, you cover highway, you cover a main, and we'll look together, and then they molly him down. So, that's that's a little anticlimactic, but either way, Elevate take it 16-5, and uh, it's a good good start for Elevate now, taking 2-0 in their double header. Yeah, put together an absolutely fantastic match there on cash, so looking looking very good.